Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. In our today's simulation task, we will simulate soil water stripping in Aspen Hysis. So our problem statement is that a soil water stream consists of 98.8 weight percent water, 0.5 weight percent ammonia and 0.7 weight percent H2S is produced from a crude tower. This stream is at 37.78 degree centigrade, 2.758 bar and at a flow rate of 1000 kg per hour. So let's quickly go to Aspen Hysis and add these components, fluid package and this stream in the simulation environment. So water, H2S, ammonia are added over here. Since it's a sore water process, so in fluid package, we will select sore PR, sore pangrobinson. Going to simulation, first thing which we will we'll do is to select a stream and we will label it as the sore water and the conditions given to us is that 37.78 degree centigrade 2.758 bar 1000 kg per hour and the composition is mass fraction mass basis in mass fraction select 98.8 weight percent water it means it's 0 0.988 0 0.5 percent ammonia it means it's 0 0.005 and 0 0.7 percent h2 it means 0 0.007 h2s so this stream has converged successfully now going back to our problem statement the stream is heated to 100 degree centigrade at a pressure of 2.069 bar and then fed to the stripper so it means we have to add heater block over here so going back to our simulation and add heater in this system so click on heater obviously first thing which we will need to do is to do the connections sour water heated sour water and energy required to heat it in the worksheet enter a temperature of 100 degree centigrade and a pressure of 2.69 bar as presented in the problem statement now we have to add a stripper over here or you can say a distillation column over here place it and now First thing is to do the connections, the heated sour water, name it as stripper, condenser energy stream, C duty, reboiler energy stream, R duty, bottom is obviously our water and it will be full reflux because it will be the off gas from this process. Obviously, you know that this is the minimum requirement which you can meet without going to the problem statement. Now going back to our problem statement. To check what is the information given about this distillation column that the requirement is to produce a pure water stream with a maximum of 0 0.005 mole percent ammonia while recovering 99 percent water this stripper has eight stages with feed entering at third stage the condenser pressure is 1.979 bar and reboiler pressure is 2.255 bar so going back to aspenhysis the number of stages are eight feed entering at third stage click next Obviously, we will select the configuration 1.979 bar for condenser and 2.255 bar for reboiler. Click next. We do not have the optional temperature estimate. Click next. And we do not been given provided information about the reflux ratio or vapor rate. Click done. After that, go to monitor tab, uncheck these two, and then we have to select the other two specifications as given in the problem statement that the requirement is to produce a pure water stream with a maximum of 0 0.005 mole percent ammonia. It means that in the bottom product, which is the water stream, ammonia concentration should be 0 0.005 mole percent or less than it. So it means we will add spec column component fraction and in this component fraction, select stream, then we will select water and it's 0 0.005 ammonia we have selected it and the second thing is that the recovery of water is 99 percent so click add spec in this tab go to column component recovery and component recovery obviously it's the water stream and it will be 0.99 of water now after adding these two spec obviously the degree of freedom is zero and click the button run and this has started solving however the column is unconverged if you check the weight error, this error is very small. So what's the exact reason that why the column has not converged after giving the right values? For this, I will take you back to the problem statement. 
and in this problem statement we have to look at the damping factors that for all hydrocarbon columns from demethanizers to debutanizers to crude distillation columns the damping factor is 1 for amine absorber it's 1 for amine regenerator tg stripper or sore water strippers range of this damping factor is 0 0.25 to 0.5 if you go back to the Espen Heises and go to parameters and solver you will see that this damping factor is the fixed one which is selected as one so you have to change this value before running your simulation for instance i will take a value of 0.4 and i will run it and this column has converged successfully it means that you were giving the right value but due to the damping factor issue it wasn't converged so you must remember these damping factors before running your simulation now going to worksheet and as you see in composition 99.99 mole percent water is recovered over here so our requirement has been met accordingly so that's how you simulate a sore water stripper this is the first part of this exercise in the next video we will try to replace heater with a heat exchanger and we'll check our stripper will help us in that simulation so that's all from my side for today's simulation. Please do watch the video, like the video, share with others and subscribe the channel Spentech. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned.